All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to create this part right here, which is referred to in this um, exercise as the indexing base. Uh, looks like it's probably something that allows some adjustment. There'd be a bolt or a pin in here. This thing can rotate around that pin to adjust um, your indexing makings of parts or something. Not entirely sure, but it's a really good exercise. So before I take that off the screen, I do that a little too much sometimes. The first thing we have to do is think about how we're going to make this part. Now the way that we're going to make this part is we need to start with where everything is kind of centered off of, which is this center hole and this large arc right here. Now everything's kind of based off of this center point and then one up here that shares a few radii um, and then some tangent stuff uh, that goes along with that. So first thing I'll do is I'll create this circle here, uh, which has a radius of three. And I'll do that by typing in C for circle and hitting enter. And then I'm gonna put it at my zero point. So zero comma zero for my center point, then puts it there, three for my radius, and there's my circle. Okay, now from here, I can put my other smaller circle in there, why not? Right in the center. And that one has a diameter of 1.5, which means its radius is 3 quarters, 0.75. Then I hit enter, and there's my circle. Now the tricky part is, a lot of people have a tough time figuring out how to get up to this point. So I have a little trick I like to use, which is I draw a orthographic line straight up here. And then from there, I can use that as my new center point to find the center of this circle here, and then also the center of this one down here. So what I'll do, I can either click line or I can type L and hit enter. I'm going to click in the center. I'm going to turn on my orthographic right down here. I could also hit F8 to turn it on. That'll give me horizontal and vertical lines. And I don't have to be too picky. I'm just going to go up and draw one that crosses all the way through. And hit spacebar and turn it off. And then from here, I can see that my angle is 30 degrees. So up would be 90. 30 more would be 120. Okay. So I'm going to create one line. It goes from this intersection. And if you don't have that on, make sure to edit your object snap and make sure you have intersection on. That's a really valuable um, object snap option. I'm going to type at. The radius of that circle is 4, so my line's going to be 4 inches long, at an angle of 120, like I said. So that's where my first circle starts. And then while I'm here, might as well put in the other one. need to do a little math. Again, it's 4. We can see that's where the center is. And then this one is 60. So down would be 270. If I go back 60, that's going to be 210. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to go at 4 at an angle, which is the shift and the comma. So a little Pac-Man guy shows up. And I'm going to type in 210. And there's where my other center point is. So from here, I can create this top line here or this top arc, I should say, and these smaller ones. So I might as well just make them all at once. I can see the diameter of these is 1.5. The, the radius of this one is 2. So we'll start. We'll type C, Enter. We'll put the big one in 2, or first, so 2. Then I'm going to put in the second one by selecting here. And like I said, the diameter is 1.5, so the radius is 0.75. I'm going to put that same circle right down here, 0.75. And to repeat my last command, notice I went right back into that circle. So C, enter, click, 0.75. If I hit the space bar, brings me right back into that circle command. Click, 0.75. All right, now from here I've got to do a little bit of tangency and some trimming to get things right. But I don't need these lines anymore. So I can go E, enter. I can select these two lines, I can select this line, hit enter, have them go away. So I can just worry about my circles. So from here, I have some tangent circles that connect those. We'll ignore those for now. Let's do the outside first. The outside is 6, the inside is 1. And I need to point out the tangent points, one's right here, 
one's down here, or more around down here actually. And this one, bottom right, right near the top. So I'm going to go up to circle. I'm going to pick tangent, tangent radius. I'm going to pick around here. I'm going to pick around down there. And I'm going to type 6 and hit enter. There's my arc I needed. Now I can go back into tangent, tangent radius. If I hit space bar here, it's actually going to bring me into the circle command and be a radius circle. So I'll just re-pick this. And this time I'll pick here and here. And that one's radius was 1. Okay, so now I'll trim to get the stuff I don't need out of the way. So TR, I can type all and hit enter. That'll select everything. And then hit enter again. Trim that away. Trim that away. Trim this. And then this little piece out here kind of looks like a yin yang or something there. Get rid of that. And now we can see. Um, we have pretty much everything except for these here. So i got to do a little math to figure those out. So if this is 4 and then the radius is 0.75, then this outside one is 4 plus 0.75, which is 4.75. This one is 4 minus 0.75, which is 3.25. So I'll go tangent, tangent, radius again. Click, click, 4.75, enter. Pick it again. Inside, click, click, 3.25, enter, look at that. So now to save a little time, TR, enter, and I, I don't want to select everything because that means I'm going to have to click away all this extra stuff. I really just want these two circles and these two circles. And then when I hit enter, if I select this, that'll get rid of those, and then I can also get rid of the insides. Okay, then hit escape, and I'm done with my part. That's my indexing base. So now my students would go and save this as the correct file name uh, for the project.